Hello, this is Dale from Dale's Workshop. I, uh, I think I'm over COVID now, so ready to get back to work. Uh, this past weekend, I went to a estate sale and I did very well. I, uh, I'll show you what I got here in just a minute, but that's one of the biggest tool hauls that I've, I've done ever and uh, probably the cheapest. And uh, everything I'm going to show you today I only paid thirty dollars for so and some of it i don't even know what it is so i'm gonna need your help so and if you see something that i show you and we don't know what it is feel free to leave me a comment finally got me a new t-shirt got my logo on it now i'm official right Okay, some of the first things we got here, we got a number of screwdrivers. Uh, this one, this one is long. I've always wanted a long screwdriver because sometimes you just need to reach. And I think this one, there's no brand name on it that I can find, but I haven't, uh, you know, really looked deep into it. Maybe there is one. Uh, this is a nice heavy duty screwdriver. It's from Taiwan, though. But it's, it's, it's a nice, heavy, firm screwdriver. I like it a lot. You got a couple of ice picks. This one, this one has a name, but I can't bring it out yet. It's a nice pick, and I think here on the handle, looks like a bottle opener. So that's kind of cool. Got another ice pick. And... We got about three of these. I think there's, I think they're, they're Craftsman. I think they're center punch or something like that. We got a, a brake tool here, which is a Black Hawk. And this is ZT100S. I got this two or three of these uh, blue line punches. This one is a 223, it looks like. No, 226 quarter inch so we got another one here that's a, also a blue line and I have several here that are proto and uh, I think there's about three of those in there and just some various things these are just punches got a box of drills now the reason I picked these up are because they've all been sharpened, every one of them. And that's pretty cool. Um, got some little small, I guess what you would call ignition wrenches here. Uh, these are, this is a Cornwell Craftsman. And you can't tell what that one is. Got a lot of Craftsman uh, screwdrivers. Some Stanley screwdrivers. And, uh, Got another pick here. Got a. This is another ice pick. Here's a just a handle. I do. Ha I did get a file which I'll probably put on that. So this is it. This is a. I think it's a black diamond. I'm not sure. Anyway. Uh, got this globe. Um, plum, plum bob, and. Uh, Nice heavy one too. This is from a national telephone company. It's uh, NICO NICO press tool, but it's something specific to do with the telephone company of the national. Let's see, yeah, national telephone company. But I don't know what it does, unless it's a wire stripper or something like that. I got this reamer. Which is very, very nice. See, it's a... Let's see what it is. Wayne, I believe it is. Got a couple of Irwin uh, <clears throat> drill bits. These are... 
pretty big deer, nice and heavy. Got some Sears chisels, Sears Craftsman chisels, there's a couple of those. And several pair of pliers. And uh, oh, we got this right here. This is a uh, advertising screwdriver. So we pretty much know who's gonna get that. Got a pair of Craftsman, I'm not exactly, I can't remember anything today, but I'm not familiar with this uh, cob, but it's a unique looking wrench. And uh, these are, if you can tell right there, these are broken, they're cracked. They don't have a name on them, I don't think. Got this nice Stanley uh, cutter. Let's see the name on it, it's a 10 788. And uh, this uh, Craftsman chalk line. Don't have a uh, brand name on it, but that's a really heavy rubber hammer. <laughs> got this uh, standard and metric converter which I'm thinking it might come in handy got a couple of uh, I believe this is Craftsman have to look on it closer but, uh, and I got another one here there, there is no name on it but I think it's a much older one and uh, got those two orange dots. When I start cleaning some of these up, it kind of reveals things, but I really haven't got to that point yet. And this is something that really kind of startled me. You see that end right there? And this is what it is. It's in very bad shape, a lot much rusted but there's no identifications on it anywhere that I can find as of yet. So if you do know anything about this, you know what it is, what brand it is, what it's used for, if you'd leave that in the comments, I'd appreciate it. And these are Crowder. So we know we'll get those. And also SK, there's some SK here. And we have somebody we know that uh, collect this cave. We got some snap on down here. These are all uh, craftsmen. And some of these, a couple of them aren't any good. This is a Stanley a marker. It's nice. I think this is a tire tool. Uh, and this extension, believe it or not, is Snap-on. And uh, had a couple items in there with Snap-on. This this speed wrench is uh, Craftsman, yeah. And uh, SK um, box wrench. And this is, uh, I don't know what the brand of it, Lumpkin, I think it is, Lufkin, L-U-F-K-I-N, and, uh, but it doesn't work, I got to work on that. There's a little SK ratchet, and somewhere in here, there's a wizard, but uh, I can't really put my fingers on it right now. So we got a few of these little uh, cutters here. There's a Red Devil. And that one's, uh, can't see the name of it either. There's two or three of those. And these are some old uh, fuses, 20 amp fuses, I think they are. And got a box of rivets, washers and some screws. And this, this old uh, lube spout, I guess you would call it. I don't know how to 
most of you probably remember these is stick it down in an oil can and use it to pour that this has a brand on it that's um i can't see it though pair no name rusty pliers kind of like that little car so i picked that up got some these little uh you can tell me if i think these are are these for spark plugs these wire gaps gappers whatever for spark plugs and then i got some feeler gauges there oh and this is a um take it out it's a um glass cutter gold tip and it's the brand is and the brand is fletcher yeah, Fletcher. So anyway, well. And I got some wrenches here. I've not seen the name. I'm not familiar with it. Maybe you are. Uh, Kimmer, K-E-M-M-E-R, Kimmer line. I have several of those. This one, I don't, I don't know. I've never seen one like it before. It's round. It's got numbers, some numbers on it. I haven't had a whole lot of luck looking them up yet, but if you know what this is, what brand it is, let me know. And this one here, and this one doesn't have a brand. But it's made in USA. We've got some, we got Crescent, we got Old Craftsman, more Crescent. This is uh, Crescent. And this one, BTC. I'm not familiar with that either. And then these other, there's all, all these others are the camera line. And we got two or three hammers. I got a little tack hammer. I like that. I want, I've always wanted one. And um, got this. I think this is a, is this a nail puller? Tack puller, something like that? Let me know. And I got this little spoke shave. I think I'll we'll have to try to make a new one of these because this one's broken half. I started not to get it, but I don't know. It's just kind of kind of cool looking, so I went ahead and picked it up. And I got this Craftsman hammer. I think this is like a 12 ounce, and uh, got Craftsman written on the handle and on the hammer itself. So this is going to be a, a job. Uh, Red Devil spatula, you want to call it? No name on these. Don't know what they are, but they're 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 solid. They're heavy. Um, these two are Dunlap. Both of them. So I guess now I'm officially collecting Dunlap because it seems like I've got quite a few. And cowbell, got to have a cowbell. Got some hardware, some industrial, JB Well. Got a clamp. And you never know when you need to pick up something or reach in to get it. So got that, pick that up. A ruler. I don't know what this is. From Sharon Williams. If anybody happens to know exactly what this is for, you can let me know. I have no idea. And this I found out was a Craftsman. It's a nice, uh, nice level. I think I'll restore this and make it look nice. And found one of these. I don't have a brand on it, but it's. It's for lighting torches and that sort of thing, uh, welding torches, settling torches. And remember, not too long ago in one of my Instagrams, I posted some flints that I had found that that go right in here. And so I've got a, plenty of those. So that was it. That's the entire, although I did get this uh, can of polyurethane, a couple of cans of stain. 
I don't know what this one is. I'm not familiar with J A C O Jacobin. J A C O B E A N. I'm not familiar with that particular stain, but this one is uh, red oak. And uh, so I'm kind of proud of this. It's uh, it all come together pretty well. And some of this I'll be sending out. Some of it I'll be restoring. This is this is something I've been wanting anyway. This this has uh, it's got drill size and screw size up here on this end. And then here in the middle, it's got a wire size. Those three little holes right there. Come on. And then down here, it's got the uh, some drill sizes. So I kind of like that. Oh, this, I forgot this. This is a uh, butcher. It's a brand name, and I think it's from England. And it might be, a, might have a little value to it, but it's kind of like a a gouge, you know, like a mini gouge, lathe. So anyway, kind of kind of impressed with this one. I like I like it. It's kind of got the things magnet like. It's got steel, brass, and wood, and so that's. And some pieces of metal. I always pick up different pieces of metal. And um, I guess that's it. Chris, well, crafting screwdrivers, punches. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And um, thanks for stopping by. And hope you enjoyed the tool haul. I certainly did, I guarantee you. <laughs> but uh, it's going to keep me busy for a while with this and what you other guys have sent me i'm gonna be really busy and i gotta get started so anyway thanks for watching guys and so if you wouldn't mind subscribe and uh, hit hit that like button youtube likes it when you hit that like button i do too and um leave me a comment because you know i like to hear from you guys i don't care what you got to say and um a lot of you have been very kind. I appreciate it. So, y'all take care of yourself. We'll see you in the next one. Oh, and I forgot about this. I had this set aside. And, uh, but this is pretty sure it's a meat grinder. It looks like the one we used to use back in the day. New Britain, Connecticut, USA. So, but I thought that I would give it a, a go and, and see if I could restore this thing. I don't know what in the world I'd do with it once I did, but I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool. So, I'm going to look it up and get some information on it. Make sure everything up here is, is there in the way it's supposed to be and everything.